What's up everybody, Prepared Guy here once again, and today we're taking a look at the Rovivon Search S23. Upon unboxing, you'll find the manual, a lanyard, and an extra charging port cover, and an O-ring, and a C-type charging cable, and of course the light itself, along with a 3.7 volt 5000 milliamp 21700 Samsung battery. The manual also states that you can use an 18650 battery as well, so it's safe to say that there's no proprietary batteries required for this light. The S23 is made of aluminum alloy, is IPX8 water resistant, and also has an impact rating of 1.5 meters, and weighs just under 200 grams, or just over six ounces with the battery on board. I'll leave the tech specs from the manual on the screen now, just in case I leave out any details. So pause the video here to see those details. During my runtime test in the 2200 lumen high mode, the S23 ran for 2 minutes before stepping down to the 1200 lumen output for an additional 2 hours, and then it slowly ramped down until the battery became completely depleted for a total runtime of 3 hours and 32 minutes. And during my thermal test in the 2200 lumen high mode, the S23 reached a max thermal output of 130 degrees Fahrenheit or 54 degrees Celsius after about 1 hour and 50 minutes of use. And during my recharge time test, the S23 took 2 hours and 3 minutes to fully recharge from completely depleted, which was 27 7 minutes less than the time stated in the manual. Now let's take a quick tour of the modes and general operation of the Rovivon S23. Now we're going to go over the modes and general operation for the Rovivon S23 search. And this is what the light looks like. It has four LEDs on the inside. It has a magnetic bottom in the back here. It's got a clip here on the side. This has a toggle switch right here for your SOS modes and strobes and then your regular basic functions for your regular modes. And then it has a button here that you press while the light is off and it's gonna show you your battery indicator here. Then also you have a few uh, ceramic balls up here uh, for glass breaking and um, you have your C-type charging port in the back here which is nice and flush, and then you have your little indicator light there as well uh, to show you if it's charged or not when it's on the charger. And then, of course, you have a little lanyard hole, which doesn't mean anything to anybody because people just use flashlights like this. Going into the modes, it's very simple operation. This is probably the simplest flashlight I've ever used in the entire history of this channel. You turn this switch on here, this way, and you're gonna go into the different modes, and you just press this button up at the top here to switch through the modes to cycle through. The first one is going to be the 30 lumen eco mode. Second one's gonna be your 200 lumen low mode. Third one's gonna be your medium 1200 lumen mode. And then your fourth one's gonna be your high 2200 lumen mode. And then of course you have to hold this button down in order to jump into the 4000 lumen mode. See that little jump there, to the 4000 lumen mode. And then it's gonna remember the last output you were in. So like right now we're in the medium mode and you turn it off like this using the toggle switch and turn it back on, it's gonna remember that it was in that 1200 lumen medium mode. Now we're gonna put it in the 30 lumen mode, turn it off, turn it back on, it's still in that 30 lumen mode. Very simple, easy operation. Now we're gonna go into the strobes by putting it in this mode right here, just switching it like that, and that's gonna give you the strobe mode. Press this button on the main button here, and it's going to jump into the SOS mode. Now another thing I did wanna mention is that when you have it in the turbo mode with 4,000 lumens, it's only gonna last you 10 seconds, and it's gonna drop down to the 1,200 lumens automatically. As you can see here, I'm doing a brief demonstration, and I'll do another one outside as well for you. Um, but yeah, that's what it does. It drops down to that 1200 lumen mode and then um, obviously once you release the button It's just gonna stay in whatever mode it was in so if you need to do a quick brief spot in turbo You're not gonna be overheating the light once the light does get too hot though It's only gonna last in turbo for about three seconds So if I spam the turbo too much and it gets extremely hot what's gonna happen is it's going to only allow me three seconds of uh, that turbo before it goes back down to whatever lumen output I have it in. And then obviously um, you can always wait till it cools down and you will have that 10 seconds available to you again. Uh, during my runtime test in the 2200 lumen mode, it only lasts for about two minutes before it drops down to the 1200 lumen output. And during that whole total runtime, I got about two hours worth of usable light out of this light from the turbo modes or from the high modes 
with the step downs. So it wasn't super impressive with the run times, but if you're gonna use this for a camping flashlight or just brief spotlight or just, you know, little tiny tasks and stuff, nothing super heavy or strenuous, uh, this light's gonna do pretty well. It's good glove box light. It's a good camping light. Um, it's good little search light if you need to kind of like look for something at the side of the road or you need to look for something in the woods really quick, something that you're not gonna be in there for like over two hours with, um, then yeah, this is gonna be a pretty decent flashlight overall. And uh, that's pretty much the whole operation of it. Doesn't have a lockout mode, doesn't have any special features. It's everything I just showed you is everything that it does. Uh, let's take it outside and see how bright it is. And we're gonna compare it to the Olight Seeker uh, 3 Pro and um, then do a final thoughts. The S23 has a max beam distance of 200 meters or 660 feet in the 4000 lumen turbo mode. It also has a max candela of 9000 CD and the LED color tint comes in cool white at 6500K. All right guys, we're outside with the Rovivon S23. We're gonna throw this in the 30 lumen mode right now. We are 20 feet away from the railing on this porch. That's what 30 lumens looks like. I'm gonna jump up to the 200 lumen mode. That's the 200 lumen mode. 20 feet away from the railing in front of us. Now we're gonna jump into the 1200 lumen mode. That's 1200 lumens. And now we're gonna jump up to the 2200 lumen mode. That's 2200 lumens right there. And now we're gonna jump into the 4000 lumen mode. And that is 4000 ridiculous lumens right there. You can see all the way up into the tree line there. And of course, now we're gonna do strobe. And this is what the SOS looks like. All right, guys, S23 search. We're gonna throw this in the 30 lumen mode, 30 lumens. That's what it looks like shining out to the yard. There's really not much to see there. We're gonna jump up to the 200 lumen mode. Now you can start really seeing what's going on out there. And the tree line is about 75 to 80 feet away from us there, 200 lumens. And now we're gonna jump up to the 1200 lumens. And 1200 lumens, obviously you could see a heck of a lot better with 1200 lumens. And now we're gonna jump up to the 2200 lumen mode. That's what the 2200 lumen mode looks like. And now we're gonna jump up to the 4000 lumen turbo. And that 4000 lumen turbo lights up the night with no problems whatsoever. Now I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys so you can see what the S23 looks like next to the Olight Seeker 3 Pro. Seeker 3 Pro is on the left here. And now the S23 is on the right. And as you can see, that's what the beam shot looks like. Seeker on the left, Rovivon Search S23 on the right. Now it's just gonna be just the search. Now remember, as I'm holding this, if I hold it for 10 seconds, it's gonna dim down after 10 seconds. So that's what it's gonna look like. And then it's gonna slowly ramp down to the 2200 lumens, as you can see right like that, or the 1200 lumens, sorry about that. And then I turn it off. Let's try this again in full turbo. Both lights, full turbo. That's what that looks like, side by side both on the full turbo for both lights. Now for my pros and cons. First, the pros. The S23 is simple to use with decent run times and outputs, and the toggle switch and free reign of battery options make this light a nice option for those of you that hate proprietary batteries. Now for the cons. The beam pattern could have been a little bit smoother. The reflector made the beam pattern look a little bit broken up, but other than that, this light is pretty decent. And of course, that's just my opinion. With that said, the S23 retails for $129.95 with a two-year free from defects warranty through Rovivon. So if you're looking for a decent flashlight with good battery options that's on par with the Olight Seeker 3 Pro, but without the proprietary battery or magnetic charging options, then the Rovivon Search S23 is a great alternative option. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Prepared Guy, and until next time, stay prepared.